These marine biologists are hunting for an almost mythical creature. It has the head of a horse, the tail of a serpent, and an insect-like armor of bony plates, but it's really a fish, the Nisna seahorse. It's a little male, it's quite small, but you can see it's pregnant. It's, it's, it's interesting because a lot of people think seahorses are, are like a fairy tale. Not many people actually believe seahorses exist. There are only about 35 species of seahorses, and biologists fear for their survival. These fish are extremely fragile. They only eat live brine shrimp and are sensitive to small changes in their habitats. Pollution, boats, and fluctuating water temperatures can easily destroy whole colonies. That's why marine biologists have come here to South Africa to study one of the rarest seahorses, the Nisna. They have no idea how many Nisna seahorses there are, but they exist nowhere else on Earth. Mark Nofke is part of a team of volunteer divers trying to map Nisna seahorse habitats. The seahorse is on the endangered species list, um, not, not because of their numbers, because we didn't actually know before this project how many there were, but because they only occur in these two estuaries. One natural disaster could wipe them out. Counting seahorses isn't easy. The water off Nisna is under 14 degrees Celsius and visibility close to zero. The divers follow a slender line that delineates the search area, then comb through a thick carpet of seaweed. Seahorses, like chameleons, change color to hide. The males wrap their slender tails around the green stalks and sway like the weeds. The divers carefully measure each little seahorse and record observations in notebooks. The fish are replaced where they're found to minimize any disruption in their feeding and mating habits. Pairs mate for life, the female providing the eggs to the male who fertilizes them in his pouch and carries the young until they hatch. I guess the, the, the unique reproductive strategy that, that they have with the, with the male falling pregnant and giving birth to the young. I think that's very unusual. There's not many um, animal species and not many fish species that have that reversal in sex roles. Once the biologists know more about these fragile seahorses, they hope to come up with better ways to protect them. <laughs>